Welcome back to the channel, fellow space nerds. Today's episode really is the, the equivalent of an emergency newsflash, and we are finally getting new ships. It's, it's really happening. And to celebrate this, I cashed out on one of them to try them out for you. And of course, to see if they're any good for PvP, because, you know, that really matters for me, especially these off kind of off meta ships. Uh, so the ship that I'm flying today is the Imicus Navy. Uh, the fit is also displayed on the screen right now, as you can see. Uh, I don't want to make this part too long, but it's basically a very armor tanky dual web AB scram drone boat that also has uh, yeah mixed guns in my case, uh, which is which is really weird. I, I never do this, but I had a serious mental dilemma trying to figure out to, uh, how to fit the right guns since ion blasters don't fit or neutrons either, or 125 or 150 rail guns don't fit either with this fit. So in the end, uh, the result that I came up with was one neutron blaster, which is faction fit to make sure that it uses less power grid and one 75 mm rail gun. Give me some good range and DPS coverage, actually, uh, maxing out at around 210 DPS in the short range one and still giving me around 150 further out up to 10 kilometers. Of course, this is accompanied by four light drones. In my case, these are four exigent rolled augmented hobgoblins. Uh, since the hole cost me a good chunk of money, uh, we might as well splurge a little bit on it. Uh, the afterburner happens to be a bit of civilian since nothing else fits. So yeah, this one, uh, this time around, it's really a proper meme of a fit. Uh, let's see how it goes, right? Um, the fights displayed in this video will be shown to you in chronological order as they happened to me on the day of filming this. However, it just so happens that the absolute banger of the fight uh, is the very last fight. So make sure you stay around until the end for the snow showdown of Trade Love versus the mighty Nimicus. The first fight of today's clip is versus a Tristan. And initially I started pulling some range here, but then I remembered that I should probably stay on zero in case the Tristan is Kaidi, because that way then I can secure a scram and a web and make sure that I keep it before he uh, drifts out of range. And that's actually exactly what happens. So you can see it's going really fast. I get a scram and web, I make sure they're preheated. And after that scram and web is actually applied for me, it's really easy because now the fight is basically over. He cannot pull range, which is his win condition. So for me, all I have to do now is make sure that I keep him at range. That way my guns track better. I make sure that my uh, drones, of course, are playing damage. And my newt is slowly but surely nuding him out in case he has any kind of active wrapper still hidden in his back pocket. But yeah, I'm just hitting my DPS. And uh, yeah, that's that's honestly basically it. So this is really nothing that shows the power of the Imicus Navy, let's be honest. Uh, it just happened to be the first engagement. Pretty sure you could do this with any kind of dual web scram fit. So GF, and let's move on to the next clip. Uh, the second fight of today's video will be against a Kestrel that also happens to have flex control. And this will obviously be a more uh, challenging engagement, simply because Kestrels are probably the most challenging T1 Kestrel or uh, T1 frigate already. Uh, especially if you give them flex control because they can shoot from a far ways away, which means I preloaded long range ammo here. Uh, and I made sure that I got webs uh, right away to make sure that you can't drift too far out of range when my guns don't apply damage at all anymore, especially my blaster that maxes out around seven kilometers as I just, as you probably just saw when I hovered over it. So uh, here he makes one big mistake. He should have pulled way more range because he can theoretically shoot out to 13 kilometers. He does have dual web and a proper AB, so he is actually pulling range on me. Uh, he does not, which is really bad because A, my guns apply more damage, but more importantly, as you just saw, his E war dropped which means he's actually dry. Uh, and that happened because my newt, which has been heated since the first second, uh, sucked him dry because he stayed at seven and a half instead of pulling range to 10 or even 13 kilometers. Uh, in any case, good fight. I'm glad I got that one and let's move on to the next fight. All right, uh, fight number three is actually against the same Tristan that we fought in the first engagement of this video, but this time he actually has flex control. I know that he's Kaidi, so this is more of an experiment to see if I can actually do anything about it. But uh, yeah, right here he gets to 15 kilometers. My webs only go to 14, so instead, uh, after missing the web, this immediately turns into the average uh, Defang Fiesta. So initially, I tried to put my railgun on him as well as my drones, but they don't apply any damage, and his drones are actually starting to hurt me. So instead, uh, in, eventually I pull my drones. I try to put some warriors on him to see if those apply better. That does not happen either. So uh, eventually I reload my railgun to put it on the drones as well to make sure I actually get them down since he has eight of them, not only five. Uh, and then after realizing that my warriors are not dealing enough damage to him either,
4 will be the first real uh, challenge for the Amicus Navy, in my opinion. It's against a Firetail that has Flex... No, actually, I have Flex Control. Sorry, of course, yeah. Uh, he happens to be 280mm um, artillery cannon, so he's going to try to pull range here. And since I am civilian AB fit, he will be able to pull range. So at this point, since I know he's AB fit, I'm going to start not heating my whips or scrams anymore and no need. And I'm immediately reloading my guns to a long range ammo here. And that way, even though he's pulling to probably like seven and a half, I guess it's going to be his defaults. Uh, I'm still going to apply perfect uh, damage with my guns as well as my drones. So he's going to really start sweating here. Also, since he's only pulling like six and a half at the moment, he is getting slapped by my nude, which you can see by the absolute lack of his repairs. Uh, so right here, the probably like around, around 160 DPS he's eating as well as the lack of repairs. Uh, Kills him right away, which is really surprising to me. I expected this to be way harder, but he immediately dies. So, good fight. And let's go to the next clip. So, fight number five. Uh, this will be a very quick one. And since we're doing it chronologically, this is here. Otherwise, I'd probably put it in the beginning. It's against the Condor. I expected some TD shenanigans or something that will really confuse me, but he happens to be a really, really simple fit, which is just scram web, probably medium or small shield extender, as well as a newt. So I know that my, the easiest way for me to win this is to keep a range very close to him, make sure that my guns apply damage, make sure that my newt applies, and uh, the double bike, make sure that my drones apply. So from here on, it's an easy, easy ride. And right here, you'll see him do a pop. That was <laughs> kind of surprising. Didn't see that one coming. So good fight and let's get to the banger. So this will be the showdown. It's the Imicus Navy issue versus a Damovic. The Damovic pilot is actually the same pilot as the previous Firetail pilot. So this was kind of like we talked about the fit and I showed him what I'm flying. So we we're going to try this. And uh, this is not like we're going to run away if we're getting low. This actually happened to happen. Uh, so this was meant like one of us leaves in a, ca a capsule. It's not really like set up or anything. I, I don't really do set up PvP. I'm not a big fan. So my, my plan here is super simple. I am I think since he knows I don't have a NOS, he's going to try to nude me. So uh, it happens to be true. He happens to be in a dual nude fit. Uh, so my plan here is make sure that I don't get within more than like 10 kilometers. Web him, make my guns with a long range ammo apply, make my drones apply, make his tank sweat before I actually get into a range where I would be nude out. Uh, now you could say, yeah, you should go back and nude him, which I understand, but the problem with Draglavian ships, especially the Damovic, is uh, that they get a bonus for nude activation. So me trying to counter nude his two nudes is completely irrelevant because he's getting like four times nude efficiency, I would get. So my only, only battle plan here against this is to stay outside of the nude range, apply all my damage, hope that he doesn't run while I don't have scram. Uh, he afterwards, uh, as you can probably saw, I never really scrammed here and I'm not really sure why, but he told me afterwards that at one point he ran out of cap and then he forgot to reactivate it. But I think initially I was just out of range and then at one point he was too focused on repairing and making sure he doesn't have, uh, he's not running out of cap uh, while all this happening. So you can see my webs are about to burn here, everything is super fucking heated. I hope that I can finish him off here, like I'm also kind of pre-aligned to something because I know that I might have to bail here very soon. You can see everything's heated. I'm kind of preheating and reheating things because I'm trying to not burn anything. It's an absolute mess of a fight. Right here, I drop now into hole and he's so close to dying, but I really don't want to lose a 500 mil ship. So like next tick, I would have died. And there is a chance he said that his reps were like not done yet. But yeah, it was a, a really, really close fight. So at this point, yeah, thank you for watching here while this, uh, while this little outro clip plays. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick one. I tried to uh, just r not not really rush a video out, but make sure that you get you this this Imicus Navy video as fast as possible uh, while still supplying you some dank fights. So I hope you enjoyed these clips. Uh, I have lots of content like this, uh, Heron videos, pro videos. I really like to do PvP with more unconventional fits. Um, because it's really fun. A, a it, uh, it's really fun for you to try something new, which is always nice in EVE. But also, it's really fun to surprise your enemies with something that they don't expect, you know? Uh, like a guy who's like, oh, it's just a, an easy probe that we can kill real quick and get some loot or something. Uh, he'll not expect it to have, uh, you know, guns and webs and be ready to, to really uh, mess up his day. Which, you know, sometimes ends in salt, which is unfortunate, but also sometimes just people having a really good time because they didn't expect it and it really... They really enjoyed it as well to an extent so it's it's a win 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 in, in many situations yeah so please feel free to check out the other content on this uh, channel uh thank you for dropping by today and watching this and uh, i hope i convinced you to buy one too and try this out 
and uh, see you in Tama soon.